Hello everyone and welcome to my setup tutorial for Outlast. Everything you'll need to uh, start speedrunning the game basically. So obviously you'll download Outlast uh, before any of this. <laughs> um, so open up Google, go to livesplit.org, click this download section and click the most recent version here. Oh. So once that is all installed, all good and all that, you want to go into your downloads folder and it should be here and it should be in a nice little zipped folder so double click on it and then click livesplit.exe then extract all now we click browse our C drive or where we want to save it create a new folder called livesplit I've already done this so uh, I won't do it again and then you'll click it and then save and all that so once you've done that we will, I will just go to it quickly actually uh, yeah that's right uh, low split and then here it should be you should have this little symbol here but don't worry if you don't as long as you click it and it comes up with this or a shortened version of this which sort of just looks like this bottom part it doesn't really matter so right click edit splits game name type in outlast here or Outlast uh, whistleblower or whatever. Uh, run category, type in the one you want. So I'll do all chapters. Actually, I'll do any percent just because it's a bit shorter to type out. So any percent, like that. I'll just deactivate that because that's not supposed to be activated yet. So you want to click game time here, segment name, and then you want to type in your segment name. So let's just do Bush insert below and then after that you've got let's say uh, rest in peace Chris and then we have Renicky I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it don't uh, thrash me if that's not how you spell it uh, and then we will want to try um, valve one or just valve actually you don't need to put that and then Superman and then let's just have end now once you've got all of that stuff typed in click this which like it says auto splitting and load removal are available by map map thank you for that click activate click settings and then I uncheck this split box just so it doesn't split when you don't want it to click OK click OK and you've got this lovely little box or these lovely times here now right click you want to where is it edit layout in case you want to change the colors or anything like that or no uh, now we will go into uh, settings right here and we will change the hotkeys to what we want so F5 and F6 I have as my start and split and my reset pardon me I check this global hotkeys box just so it works when I'm in that click OK and now when you click F5 it should start and when you click F6 it should stop and reset now once we've got all of this you can save layout as uh, default if it's your default layout that you want and now what I would do is I would go into this create a new folder call it splits plus layout click on that click save right click save splits as outlast have it as a normal name same splits and layout save once you've got that you can just exit out of it so now we will go to this lovely website speedrun.com slash outlast slash resources and here we have a lovely Outlast trainer by Instagibs. So you will click this. This pop up will come. Click up, click, click, ugh, click keep, and that will uh, continue downloading. If that doesn't work, just disable your antivirus or your virus protection on Chrome, download it, and then you can re enable it. I've already got this, so I'll just close out that. Now go into your downloads folder again. Uh, let me just delete that one real quick here is the outlast speedrun helper you should have this as your folder double click 
here we have these two either click extract all or double click this click extract all browse windows and I create a new folder called OL helper uh, you don't have to do that or you can name whatever you want it's up to you so extract all that once you have extracted everything you will go into your OL helper here here we have the log so what uh, goes on here we have the readme which will tell you about the bindings and here we have the application itself so you'll want to run outlast before you run this else this will pop up and it will close itself as you can see there so once uh, that's all done and that's all good you will come back oh yeah once that's all done we can go into we're going to actually uh, make it so we have the debug tools now so we're gonna go into our Windows C or actually my game saved in my D drive actually but if it was saved in C I'll show you where you would go so you would go in C click Steam which is where is it ah no click program files x86 Steam Steam apps common and then your games would just be here but mine's in my uh, D drive so what I've done is I've created a new folder in my D drive called Steam Library 1 because Steam Library 2 is got all of these games which I don't have anymore because my hard drive reset except uh, Outlast 2 but I've got Steam Library 1 here click Steam Apps Common so the same thing again here's Outlast double click on this go into OL Game right here now go into config and default input dot any double open that and you might have it so it doesn't uh, so it comes up with a menu which looks like um, what do you want to open this in just uh, have it as notepad and you're good to go so you'll see this so we're gonna scroll down until we see keyboard and mouse here we pretend this doesn't exist for a minute this will have all of your basic bindings so you can change the bindings in here if you really want to but it's just easier to change it in the menu however we will need to add this custom piece of text I will uh, put this in the description you can copy and paste it or just type it out uh, so dot bindings capital B equals bracket name equals F9 in uh, quotations comma command equals quotations show capital uh, caps lock for collision close bracket and what this will do is this will bind F9 to uh, this command for show collision and quivers or quiv or whatever you would like to call them has helpfully compiled the ones that you would um, or Finnuff, Finnuff, sorry, uh, I'm sorry Finnuff, don't hurt me, please, um, for which ones there are, so, Collision is the main one you want, but you can also have Fog, so you can turn off Fog, and you got all of this stuff, so, you've got Camera Free Cam, which I actually didn't know existed, Stats F Stat FPS you might also want, uh, want. this will, uh, or this will display your, um, stats in somewhere around here or for your frames per second uh, and all of this is you can just have as many as you want so once we've got this in the code or in the notepad you're going to click uh, file save or control s or just close it and it will come up with a box which says save changes just click yes now I will uh, come back to you with uh, this open so I will see you in a minute and I am back so I have um, the live split open which should be in the top left and I have the trainer running in the background so I'm going to load my admin save 
load. And yeah, so started the game, that's all good, and you can jump around and all that. Now, if you have uh, whatever your collision's bound to, um, like using the text I put in the description, hopefully, or uh, just typing out what I showed you, if you click it, oh, wrong one, this will happen, and this shows every hitbox there is. So here, this red line is the hitbox around us, this is the hitbox for the door, and now it's gone. It's... A bit of an eyesore, uh, but that's it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So I'm just going to turn it off right now. Now, uh, trainer, control F1, F2, F3, or F4 are your inputs for saving the positions. So there's F1, there's F2, there's F3, there's F4. Now, without clicking, Control or yeah control you can restore each one of those checkpoints Whenever you want so his f1 checkpoint his f2 checkpoint his f3 checkpoint and his f4 checkpoint So that's basically all you need to know in this game and my life split should hopefully be activated by now I forgot to mention that and if you click f5 it should split But I'm just going to reset that now uh Yes, I want to update that. Like that. And also, if I start it, hopefully, if I go down here, hit saving point, save and exit, spam as quick as I possibly can. Uh, hopefully, the uh, timer would have paused then. I can't see the timer right now, so that's kind of annoying, but oh well. So F6, did I actually start in the first place? In case I didn't start it, I'll definitely start it now. And actually save and exit. So that was me just uh, doing a save and exit there. And just like that, it should have paused and restarted. So F6, there we go. And yeah, so that's basically all for this uh, tutorial. And I'll see you lot in the oh, wrong button. And I'll see you lot in the next video. So yeah. And I am back. I'm sorry, I forgot to do something. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about this. So open up. Don't mean to open up that one. Uh, go into your files and go to your Outlast folder. Click OL Game, Config, and at the bottom here you see default UI dot NA. Double click that, scroll right to the bottom, and here, change this value to true. Close, save, and what that will do is that will uh, basically change it from the original bland names to uh, actually represent where you truly are. So yeah, I'm sorry about that, and I will see you in the next video.